The recent pet food recall because of possible salmonella poisoning has some owners wondering how to make sure their dog's food is safe. A few top chefs have come up with the answer, and you can find it in their new cookbook, The Culinary Canine. <laughs> Here with some of their favorite recipes and their four-legged friends as well are executive chefs Carrie Heffernan, Matt Levin, and Guillermo Tellez. Good morning, morning to all guys. of you guys. Good morning. How are you? Good. This is Benny. Hey, Benny. Nice. <laughs> Hi, he's been chef. Just propped up there all morning long. He's he's happy, right? He's a very happy boy. Benny's very happy. What are you making? Well, great food. Coming so what up. do you serve him? So what we do um, is actually I make something called a dog broth, and oh. it's a great way to get healthy food to him. It's also a great way to sort of moisten that dry kibble and give them something more interesting to eat. Um, one of the most important things that I think is you can use the same ingredients that you would eat. You want to use a healthy organic chicken, you know, beautiful peas, carrots, you make a very quick, simple stew, and voila. You Some love people, it. as they're listening, might be saying, oh, well, I would love to do this for my canine, but it seems maybe like it's going above and beyond, right? <laughs> Why are you doing this for Benny, and what motivated you to do the cookbook in the first place? Well, the cookbook is, is for a great cause, and it was a lot of fun to do. And, you know, I had been doing this anyway, so it was a great sort of natural <laughs> segue. Is he going to eat it, by the way? Can we put he it down there for him? Yeah, come on. Benny, now. you want some, buddy? Let's oh. see what Benny thinks. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. I think he likes it. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. So, all right, let's move on to Howie here. Hi, Howie. Hi, Hi, Chef. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So we were just talking um, with Chef Kerry about how, you know, th this salmonella poisoning in Absolutely. food is a big deal. Absolutely. And that's something that motivated you with it, your cooking. For it is. Your pup. I, I guess about four or five years ago, there was a high end commercial pet food scare. And these guys are super important to me. So I thought it'd be, you know, I cook Hi, every day anyway. So why not cook for the dogs? Yeah. And this was a way to kind of just get some healthy uh, lean protein into them with some flaxseed, fresh fruits and vegetables. And, you know, it seemed like a natural call. It looks actually yeah, yummy what you have out here. here. What do you got? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit of ground lamb, uh, some rice, a little bit of bone meal, uh, flaxseed, some fresh peas, carrots, uh, sweet potatoes, corn, and Howie's favorite, a little bit of apple. So I have a question. When you cook for your puppy, assuming you're cooking with Cuban food, do you yep. ever taste the food? I taste it all the time. You and do? I, and I season yes. it because he's got to eat good just like I would eat good. So. <laughs> nice. So puppy and owner eat the same. How hard is it to make something like this? If you can boil a pot of water, you can make it. All right. That easy. Well, there you go. Let's have Howie uh, yes, have Howie a little treat. Chicken, buddy. I have to say, Howie was going nuts before the show, and now he's behaving beautifully. <laughs> he's because he so has good the job, food. buddy. Oh, oh no. no. Come here, buddy. No. He says, Jeff, you can have some. All right. We're going to head over to Chef Guillermo <laughs> and Miley. Hi, honey. How are Miley, you? Hello, Miley. Hi, morning. sweetie. Good morning. Hi, Miley. And you have what you here, doing? Chef Guillermo? Um, well, for Miley, we have uh, um, a little treat. We actually call them the Mexican Miley treats. Because we use chorizo in it. Nice. Um, it's a funny dog because um, she loves vegetarian food. Oh, okay. She loves vegetables and everything. Oh. But this is something that she will go crazy over it. So how do you and, make it? Uh, well, it's very easy. It's, you know, it's very few ingredients. And then you just put them together, put them all in the, in the mixer. And when it's all together, and roll them up and cut them up. And um, just bake them. It takes 15 minutes. They're baked. To do. Yeah. 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 So they're like little like biscuits. Just a little almost, biscuits, but yeah. They're made. But they're made with chorizo and uh, applesauce and... Little things like that, and this applesauce are homemade, of course. Uh, from uh, I live out in the country, so we go and pick up the apples. Actually, do you think you could do this on even more of a budget than what comes in the bag, or do you have to spend a little um, more for it? You know, um, you can probably do it. Uh, it goes a long way. Yeah, um, this will be probably a little bit more expensive. But um, the quality in uh, the kind of food that you will make for your dog is it's worth it. Miley, you do you know, want some? <laughs> little lady. Let's Miley, you enjoy that. Right? Chef we'll Guillermo, thank you. Chef Matt, Chef Kerry, thanks so much. <laughs> Benny, <laughs> Howie, great having you with us. Have this was good stuff. This was good stuff.